Today, I'm gonna to share with you my three biggest keys for success in business. If you're missing any of these three keys, you're gonna have a hard time starting a business and especially with growing it long term. I'm Jesse with Inspire Video Marketing where I show you how to inspire with your video and make a great living while doing it. If that's something you're looking to do, subscribe and click the bell icon to catch the newest videos. So before I jump into the three biggest keys for business success, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think the three biggest keys are. I'm really interested to hear what your thoughts are. So number one, passion slash determination. You have to be passionate about what this business is that you're starting because number one, if you're not passionate, it'll probably be pretty hard to start it. Now, maybe you'll see like an opportunity that's like, wow, I could make a lot of money doing this, right? And you'll say to yourself, maybe I should do that. But it's something that you're really not passionate about, right? That might be enough to get you started, but that's not gonna keep you going long term. Now, when I say passion slash determination, I say that because they're sort of go together, right? If you have a lot of passion, it'll be a lot easier to stay determined. However, if you're a person that hasn't built determination, it's gonna be something that's a little bit harder to stick with. So it takes a little bit of both. While they do tie in with each other, you have to be determined to see it through. Now the good news is, even if you're maybe not naturally a very determined type person, I'm gonna have a video for you at the end, another YouTube video that's gonna show you how to become a more determined person. But if you have that passion and determination, not only will it allow you to start and keep the business growing long-term when things get tough, but it's gonna make the other two keys I'm gonna give you in this video a lot easier to put in place. Number two, hustle. You have got to have some hustle. Now, don't get me wrong, I do think there's a lot out there right now about like just having this blind hustle basically just saying you need to grind your face off and have no life you should never sleep i'm not saying you need that there's a certain level of hustle that's healthy right you want to make sure you're still able to be a well-functioning human being because if you're not you're gonna have a hard time running your business however at the same time i see a lot of people that are like oh, i want to start a business but i don't want to really do any work for it it doesn't work that way it doesn't matter what kind of a business doesn't matter how, you know, how much of a get rich quick thing people are promising you, it's gonna take work. You're gonna have to put in the time, you're gonna have to put in the effort. Nothing's gonna come easy. And if you wanna give people a product and a service that's helpful, it's gonna be really hard to do that if you're not willing to put some work in to get the word out to them, to make the product and service valuable, right? At the end of the day, it's about making customers happy, making people happy. You can't do that if you're not willing to put in any time or effort. There's just no way around it. I mean, let's be honest, if it required no work to have a business, everyone would have a business. Everyone would be making lots and lots of money just because they decided they wanted to put a logo out there and say, hey, I'm here, right? It takes more than that. You can't offer anything of value without putting in that effort. So you're gonna need some hustle. You're gonna need to do some things maybe that you don't wanna do, especially when you're getting started. You're gonna have to get through some bumps in the road and say, hey, I'm gonna put in some extra time to get done what needs to get done. Maybe you're gonna have a launch for a product or a service, right? You're gonna have to put some extra time in to get that ready. If you're not willing to do those things, the product or service that you know, think is gonna be the best thing out there, it's not gonna get out there because no one's gonna be able to find it because you weren't willing to put in the time and the effort. Now, I'm not saying every day is gonna be hard and every day is gonna be working, you know, 20 hours a day or working 80 hours a week every single week, but there might be weeks that you have to do that. There might be days where you do have to work 20 hours. Maybe you'll have to pull an all-nighter. And I'm also not saying you have to do all these things that you absolutely hate. There's gonna be certain things maybe that you have to do that you hate, especially when you're getting started, right? Like for me, there was a lot of things I had to learn I had no idea about, and it was really, really frustrating at first. Like learning how to start a website was so frustrating when I was getting started but I learned what I needed to learn and it became a lot easier. And I learned from some other people who made it a lot easier. So when you're getting started, yeah, there's gonna be things you don't wanna do. And as you grow your business, you could start maybe outsourcing those tasks to a team and whatnot. But when you're getting started, you have to be willing to get through some of those things to get the, the business off the ground. There's no way around that. Unless of course you've got the money to outsource a few things here and there or ask someone to help you out. But even then there's gonna be certain things that you don't wanna do that you're gonna have to deal with. Now not to make this sound like all doom and gloom and a bunch of things you have to do that you don't want. At the end of the day, it's gonna be rewarding. When You'll be willing to put in the hustle when it's your baby, it's your business. You'll be a lot more willing to put in that hustle. You'll be willing to put in those extra hours, work a 60, 80 hour a week. I often work 60 to 70 hours a week just because I want to, I enjoy it. And the other benefit you get from this hustle is you get a little bit more flexibility with your schedule, your time, right? Like for me, if I decide, hey, 
I want to go get something to eat at such and such time. Like I don't have to go check in with anyone like I would at a boss, right? I just go get something to eat. I go make something to eat. If I decide oh, I'm just dragging, I need a quick nap. I can do that from time to time. Now again, you gotta be smart about this. You can't just take naps all day. You gotta do enough to keep the business growing, but you do gain that flexibility from that hustle. So it is well, well worth it. Finally, the third biggest key you need, knowledge. And I'm not just gonna give you the like blanket, oh, you just gotta be smart. No, it's not just about being smart. You have to be smart with business. You have to be smart with marketing, uh, positioning your business, creativity, innovation, right? Knowing what your market wants, knowing the tactics to get you there, knowing the strategy of your business to get you where you need to go. Those are all things you're gonna have to learn. You're gonna have to learn a little bit about sales, about copywriting, right? So I know I threw a lot of little different elements you need to have in your business. And on top of that, all the knowledge you need of the actual product or service you're providing, right? But just on the business side of things, your positioning, your strategy, your creativity, your innovation, making sure it's a good fit for your market, right? All those things are things you're gonna have to know. Your, your copywriting, your sales. If you want me to cover any of those different elements in future YouTube videos, leave me a comment about which one you'd like me to help you with more. Those are all things I've taken the time to learn over the years. But another thing you can do to make that kind of learning curve a little bit quicker is learn from someone that knows what they're doing in it. So it could be someone personally helping you, it could be you guys requesting in the comments down below anything you want to see from me in YouTube videos. Maybe you get a mentor. Maybe you would you know, read a book from an expert on it, get a marketing course on it. But at some level, you probably are looking at some type of an investment, right? Of getting someone to show you how to do this stuff. Now, if you're lucky enough to have someone to show you how to do it for free that actually knows what they're doing, not just someone that has an idea, then you are one lucky individual and you should take full advantage of that. But at the end of the day, you're gonna have to be willing to invest some time to get the knowledge and some level of money. You know, it could be as simple as buying some, some books that are helpful, in fact, I'm gonna post in the description down below two books that I highly recommend that I found very helpful. Those books will help you with crafting your message, with your sales and your marketing, uh, figuring out the overall strategy you should have for your business and a ton more. Those two books will help you both with online marketing and offline, but I would highly recommend you get them both. Both books, you don't have to pay anything for the actual books, it just costs shipping, but those have helped me a ton and they're actually really quick, interesting and fun reads. I found them super engaging, which is weird because Usually when I read books, I kind of get tired. I want to take a nap, but these were like the two books for whatever reason, you know, on something that a lot of people would think of as being boring, like marketing and business. I found them super interesting and actually kind of gave me the bug for putting a channel like this out. So definitely check those books out. They will help you a ton. And as promised, here's the YouTube video with the keys for developing determination. That's going to be huge for you in keeping your business growing. If this video helped, click the like button, the subscribe button and the bell icon to catch the newest videos. And I'll see you in that video next.